the most uh, requested thing on my first video it was the playpen no. and then coco and then she is going to be here hello my cuties thank you so so much for clicking on this video if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe down below subscribe down below and also hit the notification bell and follow me on instagram at stefania briella okay my cuties so today coco and i she's so distracted because all of these things are so new for her uh, Coco and I we're gonna be showing you and doing a try on haul with all the things that I got for her as a new puppy and probably a lot of these things you are gonna need them to if you're thinking of getting a puppy or if you're just curious how many things does a puppy needs and um, stay tuned because I have a lot of stuff here and there are also stuff that you may not need or you for sure needed and you didn't even know it existed so let's begin let's do it guys okay one of the first things that I got for Coco was her bed and this is a very soft and comfy bed honestly I'm gonna be putting the links of everything that I got her down here on the description box but there are things that I cannot give you the link because for example these I got it at Marshalls Marshalls have a lot of good discounts for pet stuff however when I went there they didn't have many stuff in general but they had a lot of beds and I got this bed for literally $19 I think it even has the tag here it should have it somewhere well anyway I paid $19 Marshalls and they I, I see they carry a lot of this brand Nandog Peg gear uh, she loves her bed but I don't usually put her here just to sleep just like that because puppies need to feel like comfy like they are secure and they are safe so I was thinking what else can I put in here so she can feel safe so I got her this and I got her a baby blanket now this is the blanket that I got her I love it so much because it's pink and on the other side it's white it is super super comfy so what I do I literally and this is the blanket that I uh, picked when I brought her from the breeder so I put the blanket here just like this and then Coco and then she is going to be here and you see she feels secure and she feels safe right there so right now that I'm filming this it's quarantine time you know the whole thing I don't know when you will be watching this probably these days probably a year from now I don't know but I'm gonna be vlogging almost every day of my quarantine life and of course Coco is gonna be part of it and you can see how Coco is behaving, how Coco is growing, how I'm training her, like my everyday with Coco I'll, um, while she grows. So don't forget to check out all my vlogs and my other videos because she will definitely be there. She is like my bestie right now and she will be my bestie for the many years to come. Now, another thing that I got for Coco at Marshalls was this little toy and it is so, so cute. They need a toy, uh, like different types because you never know what they're gonna like and she absolutely loves this toy. It makes like a squishy sound. <laughs> she really, really likes this toy. I think this is all I got at Marshalls. Now, when I went to pick up, pick her up from the breeder, I got this bag. This one, I got it from Amazon, which I love it because it was great from picking her up, but also for future travelings. And you can just, you know, fold it and it doesn't really take much space. So, if you put it all together, it's gonna be something like this. So you close it here and it has a lot of windows so it's great and they can breathe they can see and they also feel safe now what i love about this bag is not just like a regular bag but it also has this um the this little window that you can open and this can be like a bed so they can get in and get out whenever they need if you are at somebody else's place or if you want to use it as a bed you can also do that it's not as comfy as her actual bed but it has this option which not many bags do 
and I love it and it comes in different colors but honestly I, for her stuff mainly I chose like neutral colors things that are gonna kind of be part of the house I chose neutral colors which is her plate her bed her bag everything else is pink because she is a kitty girl right Coco right mi amor okay um Moving on with uh, Amazon stuff, I got her this leash which is so cute, as I told you, it's neutral color but it also has pink and you can just stop it and it won't go, Coco, stop. And it won't go and I, I think this is way too strong for her, I mean I'm just saying she's like a, a pound right now. I got her this and I also got her this little uh, bag case which honestly this came with a huge pack of bags so basically i got i got a pack of many of these bags and it included this little bag case in white so all of these came together the leash came separate i'm gonna put you the link down below you're gonna need bags and you're gonna need a case obviously because your puppy is gonna poop a lot <laughs> now my house is carpet 99% of the house is carpet so this is a big challenge for me to potty train her and all that and I got this in Home Depot and it's worked so good honestly obviously we've had accidents already so this is a urine remover for stains and otters and as soon as she pees I run I put like a paper towel absorb the excess and then I just spray it and it doesn't smell at all obviously her pee is like three drops so it's not gonna really smell much but this little thing helps a lot I got her like little bones these ones I got them from oh no from <laughs> from Trader Joe's um, she's teething a lot and she's biting everything I'm trying to train her not to but it's you know you have to be very patient and very persistent with the commands you teach them so I got her this I haven't given her any of this yet because I think it's too rough and too strong for her I'm not sure maybe I'll try even though these are the smallest ones that I found Amazon so I got at Amazon it's a set of three toys this is great for teething honestly this is the part for teething uh, but she doesn't like this part that much she actually likes this part but anyway I got three for like ten dollars and it's cute and she really likes this one even though she prefers the white one it's another option okay a trick or a really really cool find that I found was on this store called five below where they sell everything five dollars or below I don't know if you guys have heard of it or if you have it in your countries or in your states anyway it's like a dollar store but like five dollars I got her clothing there which is so cute it doesn't fit her yet but I know it will so I got her this PJ this was like five dollars I got her this little shirt it says it's my birthday which I loved it because uh, Coco and I we share the same birthday and I got her this namaste home with my human uh, these are two for like three dollars each so this is super good for dogs okay next I got her these plates now what I love about this plate is that it's like a rubber material so if she spills anything it's not gonna go on your floor it's gonna stay here especially puppies when they eat it's like all over she doesn't really like to eat from the bolt just yet uh, but it's great for the water because she spills the water like all over and this is stainless steel you can you know rinse it on the side and still be safe with this whole thing I love these plates love them so much honestly I think I did a very good job shopping for Coco now she's a poodle which I love it because she doesn't shed at all but I got her this brush and it is so good because you brush her hair I try to do it every other day because she gets like nuts what I like about this is once you brush your dog you can just go like that and you can take the whole hair out this is amazing for dogs that probably shed a little bit more because you can just do like this and then take the whole hair out okay so this is the clicker for me to train Coco she's been with me only like eight days as of today when I'm filming this video and I already taught her how to sit and how to stay 
she will sit and she will stay this is just great I've been watching so many training videos uh, uh, online on YouTube and they use this little thing that they call clicker so every time that I'm trying to train her I click when she does something that I want her to do and she associates the clicker right away with good behavior so this is good uh, I got her these to train. I got her these little treats to train, which is great for small dogs. Um, but however, when I train her, honestly, I cut each in six or eight little pieces because she doesn't eat that much and I want her, I want to have as many trees as possible to train her and so that she doesn't get full. You know what I'm saying? You see, she's going to her bed. She knows that's her bed and she wants to take a nap. She loves her bed, right, mi amor? Right? You love your bed? Mama did a good job. Now, I'm gonna talk about three things that I cannot bring right here in with me, but I'm gonna describe them and put the images on top of my voice so you can actually see. The first thing is a gate uh, that's usually used for babies or also dogs now there are many 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 types of gates that i found online there are like wood ones there are metal ones like so many i found this that is so easy to set up and it is so easy to move around and it's like good material it's just great and i use it to put her either on the balcony on the kitchen or the bathroom so this is a really good uh, gate because you can just fold it you can adjust the measurement of the door and you can just leave this thing and adjust it to every space and it's just good good price good quality good everything the other thing is the pee pad holder now i got this a uh, pee pad holder for me to put her on the balcony because there is a lot of wind in the balcony but also to put it indoor because remember my house is carpet and I want her I, I found a spot for her on my living room which is carpet so this pipa holder is just great um, now the most important thing and the most uh, requested thing uh, that you guys were asking for on my first video where I show you how, when I picked up Coco it was the playpen. A lot of people train their dogs with the crate. So they put the dog on the crate and then when you take the dog out, they need to understand that they have to go potty. Um, I don't really like that idea that much. So I bought this playpen that has been so amazing. You guys need playpen whether you're doing crate, whether you have carpet or not, because it's just so good. It is pretty big, it's pretty roomy, so she has space to walk around to play. I put the pee pad there, I put her bed, I put her uh, water, her food, everything just in there. And it has two doors, so I can open the door when I want her to be free. You know, she can just go inside when she needs to potty, and she can go out whenever she wants. I can keep her a uh, close if I if I'm going away or if I'm not keeping an eye on her because right now I'm potty training her so I need to really 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 be on top of her and also there is a mesh that you can actually close this playpen from the top so you can just close it all the way and if she pees on the playpen you can also remove the bottom part and just wash it this playpen is just amazing the color is super cute it's roomy good quality um and whenever she's inside the playpen she just goes to her pee pad it's just automatic i haven't had like they know dogs usually don't pee where they sleep so they will go straight to the pee pad whenever she's in that playpen she goes on the pee pad it's just automatic if you want me to do another video on how i'm trying to potty train her or like all the trainings that i'm doing to her let me know in the comments down below i am a little bit of a shopaholic but i think i haven't really shopped that much for her just yet uh, but this is all i got i hope you guys got good ideas um for your new puppy or if you're just curious what i got to her puppy 
Thank you so much for staying until the end. As I said, the links are gonna be down below. And don't forget to follow little Coco on her social media. Also subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and follow me on Instagram at Stefania Riella. This has been all for today. Little Coco is already asleep. So this has been all for today, my kitties. Thank you for staying until the end. Remember that we love you so, 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 so much. And I will see you on the next one. Bye! Right, my amor, you're tired? You want to take a nap? It's a lot for you, right? So many lights, so many cameras, so many stuff. Why are you touching all my stuff, mama? Why? Why are you touching all of it? You wanna you want me to rub your belly?